Hey, it's Pulse00, zero, zero, and this is another UDK tutorial. Um, I just figured this out today. It's UDK buoyancy. Uh, we just have the little cube. It's 2048 by 2048 by 2048. Uh, the little pool in here is 512 on all axis. I just subtracted the little uh, pool in here and then added a fluid surface actor in the... Uh, the material that I used, you just type in water into the search bar, and it, the, one of these two is what I used. And then for the crates, I used, I just typed in crate, and I used this one, and it created a UT rigid body in the uh, editor. Right click, or wait, right click, add actor, UT rigid body. The water volume that I used was UT dynamic volume, but that is dynamic water volume, but that is not what uh, created the buoyancy for these crates up here. What created the buoyancy was actually this red cylinder over here in this other viewport. Let me open it up farther. Okay, here we go. This cylindrical force actor. The escape velocity, it has no physics, nothing nothing like that. It, the escape velocity is 10,000, which just means if an object is moving faster than that, it won't be affected by this uh, force actor. You have to create, you have to select force active, otherwise it won't work. Um, it, uh, force applied to rigid bodies is default, so you don't have to change anything with that unless you want it to apply to projectiles. Anyway, the force height... The force radius and the top radius is just the size of the cin cylinder. Um, don't mess with these because it, it's weird. Like if I set this to 512, it'll go f like that. It's weird. I'm not sure what this one does. Let me check. It doesn't really do anything, but whatever. Anyway, anything below 3000 on the lift strength will not, uh, will not really, you know, lift or make or at make force against the uh, these things, the crates. Anyway, and for the 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 radial strength is 450. You can do it from 400 to 500. I just figure 450 sounds or it looks pretty good. Anyway, we can go in game and play from here. And all the crate. Oh, that crate. Didn't what just happened? I'm not sure. I think I might have moved one of the crates. Let me check. Okay. Let's see. Let's try that again. That crate is still not wanting to go in. So it's this crate. Okay, I don't know. It's okay. So let's try that again. There we go. Now all of the uh, crates go into the pool and they start bouncing, and that one's just kind of spazzing out there. Um, you can't really walk across them like I would have hoped. You start bouncing out of control, and eventually you'll fall into the water. Just like that. So you have to swim to the edge of the pool and get back out. Anyway, but see, you have to apply a certain setting on the rigid bodies to make this look, you know, realistic enough. Anyway, um, you have to set limit max physics volume. So what you do is, if you don't, then this is what it does. Oh, well, since I didn't have them straight up, I guess it really didn't matter. But they start bouncing out of the water a lot farther than they would if you didn't limit it. Anyway. So, this is an, this has been another UDK tutorial by me. And I hope to see you in my next video. Uh, sorry, I'm still having to work on that custom weapon tutorial because... You know, I just figured this out in my process of making the weapon. 
and I thought it was pretty cool, so I thought, you know, why not make the tutorial right now? Anyway, thanks for watching my tutorial. Hope it helped some of you, and bye.